What it do? Wait, Amari, what are we talking about today? What you said? Wait, what you said? What are we supposed to be talking about today? Oh, I think we're supposed to be talking about vibration. Ah, uh, okay. Hello. Oh, actually, he did say that we were, we got a chance to talk about um different topics. He did say that. So I put I put the order in, the order is in the group chat. Got it. Wait, can one of you guys change your name? Because you're both Galaxy A20. Yeah, I'll change about, your name. No, it's confusing sometimes. How about... Yeah, I'll change your name. Diallo, change your name. How about no? Diallo, change your name. How about no? Why you gotta be so stubborn? No I don't know why he has to identify both of us. It's I did. not me personally, but if Pastor needs to identify one of you, he shouldn't have to fight to see which one of oh, you got. He, he's not going to say Galaxy A20. He's going to say Diallo because my camera's going to be on. And he's going to try to get you to turn on your video, and he's going to probably ask both of you. I literally just now said my camera's going to be on. What are you talking about? And you're probably going to freeze it, right? Cause I have to take notes. Always do. I don't. I don't think you understand. I. Yeah. Order. So, Travis, I think Pastor said that. Um. Yeah, yeah you want me to continue talking? Yeah. It's Travis, then Johannes, then me, Judah, and then Diallo. Okay, how long is each of that supposed to be? I don't know, like whatever your your heart's content, bro. Like, like to be honest, you you pick the time to be honest. Uh, yesterday we were talking about music, so maybe we might want to continue that conversation. Yeah, if you want uh, to. Okay. All right. So when you guys listen to music, like, do you try to um pay careful attention to the lyrics because? Since we're trying to be Christians, we can't really listen to anything and accept anything. So do you guys like pay attention to the lyrics for that reason? Yeah, that that's true. Being a Christian determined that has to like be based on what you listen to. Yet you really gotta dive deep into what you listen to. Because you, you might be listening you think this is something good, but at the same time it, it, be, it might be some like some kind of satanic music. Yes. Anybody else? Uh, listen to normal music. When I say normal music, I mean like just regular music with words. There's nothing satanic or there's no curses in it. Nothing like that. It's just regular music, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. It's like um, like regular music is okay, but I'm just saying like, do you guys pay attention just in case there's something there that shouldn't be there that we shouldn't be listening to? Uh, yeah. Me personally, um, when I'm listening to songs, like the first thing I listen to is like the music itself. I don't know. Um, for me personally, I don't really pay attention to the lyrics. Like I listen to a song a bunch of times, but just for kind of like the rhythm and like the melody of the song. And then after like hearing it a bunch of times, like the lyrics will kind of get in my head. And then I'll be like, oh, that's what this song is about. I think, like, for the most part, I don't really, like, that's just me. The first thing I do when I listen to music is listen to the lyrics. Yeah, me too. Um, Like, sometimes I would get a song stuck in my head, and then when I'm singing the lyrics, and I say something that's kind of off, I kind of realize, like, oh, snap, that's, that's bad. Yeah. It's like, oh, stop. Like, <laughs> I was listening to Eminem the other day, and then I was singing one of the lyrics, and then he said something so weird, and I was like, yo, I shouldn't be saying that. Yeah. I was like, oh, stop. And then I had to stop listening to it, because I didn't really want to keep on repeating that, because it was stuck in my head. But it's just weird. Uh, yo, what are the topics you're supposed to talk about?
I think we were just picking our own topics, kind of to talk. Yeah. About. Wait. So y'all. Yeah, wait. Um. Travis, you done, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's Johannes's turn to lead. Uh, I didn't really have like a topic to talk about. No, um, like just just do go from on the top of your head. Yeah. Let's see. It's okay, it's okay if you if you look it up like this. Yeah. It could be anything. Okay, give me a second. Okay. So, um, I did my own radio, but, um, which was the week before school ended for me. Uh, we were talking about Twitter. Trump had posted something on Twitter. Um, I forgot what it was, but um, Twitter had posted like a fact check thing so that he could like check his sources before he tweets. And so he went on a rant about it and, um, created a bill that would essentially give the government power over like social media companies. Uh, that would give him power over social media companies and allow him to um, kind of allow the government to have more control and regulation, uh, which a lot of people didn't like. So I just wanted to hear your thoughts on it. Um, one thing that kind of stood out to me was that like in the four years that Trump has been president, um, it's crazy that it's been four years already. Um, but during the four years that Trump has been president, one of the things that has, um, one of the things that stood out is that um, he was able to pass this bill or whatever so quickly. Um, it didn't go through, the bill didn't go through. He tried to pass the bill so quick to um, ban Twitter from fact-checking him, but he couldn't uh, help fix the immigration problem or the healthcare problem. Um, so I just want to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Wait, so like, what's the, what's the actual question? Like, what do you think? Do you think that the government should have some type of regulation over social media? Do you mean by like the people don't have any control over what they post? People have control, but the government can uh, check. So you know how like if you post something inappropriate, like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook will um, immediately like take it down and say that you've like violated the yeah. community guidelines. Like, but like the government way, feel... has the power to create those guidelines. Is kind of what the I feel like there's. I, I'm I'm like half and half because you know how the like Black Lives Matter movement, you know like you know how there's a lot of racist people, people running running that. I'm kind of half and half because some white like, person might come along and like just take it down because they feel like they feel like that black people shouldn't have rights to speak on what they believe in, I don't know, and what their view is about something. But and on the other hand, like people might post like some inappropriate things about like somebody dying or like pornography or something like that. On the other hand, I get why they would want to do that, but some people like just want to post and they're not like, trying to like they're not trying to like overuse their power over the Twitter. They're just trying to post and get their word in, you know? Yeah. Yo, sometimes it's like um like a lot of people nowadays like really post like a whole bunch of inappropriate stuff. Like it's crazy how inappropriate the things are. Like, it stays it stays there. But like I seen like a couple posts, somebody posts like some Christian stuff, and those were the things that were getting taken down. So I don't really uh I don't really get it too much because like the inappropriate stuff is staying up. Right, but, like it's just weird how the inappropriate stuff is like staying there. Nobody's really doing anything about it. Yeah. I don't know, cause there's there's some atheists out there, and they they really be OD when they when they when they're taking on stuff that people like 
some Christians post that stuff to spread the word, and then they just take it down like it's nothing. Like so, it means like so. Like you know how people just want to wake up and read a word to like get their spirits up. Like yeah. some people just want to do that, and then they just take some atheists at the the government just take it down because they they don't believe in that. Actually, um, the government. Well, Where if you, you look on from? all the dollar bills, it <laughs> says "In God We Trust." The um, the government was based off of that, I would say. But now it's just like um, you can be whatever religion you want or whatever. But the government mainly based their stuff in um, more religion oriented, like how they have. In God we trust on most of No, I see. I don't. I kind of disagree with that part. Yeah, yeah because I think that. Oh yeah, you could go trust. Uh, the whole in God we trust. They're not talking about the same God we're talking about. Yeah, I think that like God is kind of like more of a general term now, because like, the, uh, Jewish have their God. They yeah. call him Yahweh, and then like the Muslims have their God. They call him Allah. Did he leave? Huh? Did he leave? Uh, I think he's back now. Um, oh. uh, Amari, stop playing Fortnite. Um, then there's like the Hindus who call their god like Vishnu. Fortnite. But I, think that, I think that it was kind of created. Like the country was kind of the founding fathers were somewhat Christian. They were Congregationalists. But I think that now it doesn't have the whole, the same meaning as it did back then. Yeah, I don't really, I don't, I don't know, I don't really trust. I'm not one to trust the government with anything they say. Like if they were to tell us to do something, I would kind of question it because I just straight up don't trust them, and they do some shady stuff. So to see them say in God we trust, it's kind of hard to believe that they're talking about the same God that yeah. I'm like living for. And like with uh people that are like satanic, when they say God, they most of the times they're talking about the devil. Yeah. So you never know who they're talking about on that dollar bill. So I don't really, I don't really trust the government in that way. That's why I don't really care about the money when it says like "in God we trust." And they have like an Illuminati pyramid at the back of the money. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You know, I ask you: Do you think that the government should have some power to regulate social media? No. No. Why? Um, to be honest, I really don't feel that, you know, the government is something that you can really depend on to do something with. A con you can't, for me, you can't trust the government to do something good with something so beneficial to many people and something very helpful to many people. So. I really don't think the government would do a great job because one, it's very, like I said, it's very hard to trust them. You know what I'm saying? Because many instances before today, before, you know, this year, even last year, you know, we can't, we, Donald Trump himself has proven that we can't trust our own government to make the right decisions. I'm not saying that he shouldn't have been president. I'm not saying that he shouldn't have been in high office. I'm saying the amount of times he did something wrong on many platforms, Twitter, Instagram, uh, uh, many platforms such as even your old TV channels, Fox News, CBS, it's proven that the Republican Party, not trying to name names, but the Republican Party, can't, you can't trust them. And they're part of what makes America, America. So I really don't think that, especially with the government we have today, would do a great job at social media. Good answer. Who's next? Amari? In my opinion, um, I think that well, that would be. I think well, I don't really care that much because I barely use social media, aside from like YouTube and text and whatever. But I think um, one of the main reasons why people well, one of the main reasons why the bill didn't go through is because. They couldn't use actual people to monitor all the social media sites. 
because even something like um Wattpad, YouTube, um there's like tons of them. There's like text, um, Discord, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, yes, Instagram. There's hundreds of different social media sites in America. Just in America um, alone. Excuse me, it's actually my turn. Read, read what's up. Just giving an answer. Of, um, use like robots or whatnot. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They have to use like um automated stuff, and that would just like ruin everything. And I feel like because of that there would be a lot of um unrest. Diallo, turn on your camera. Uh, it's my turn. I want to. I want to discuss the dangers of social media. Basically, you you know that what that on um, that Snapchat thing where it allows you to share your map. Yeah. People can stalk you. Even I was just no, about to say that people, people could track you down. The reason I don't have that on because people could just track you down. I don't yeah, think people can understand that. Off your snap map. Yeah. Huh? It's not that hard to turn off your snap map. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Turn on but some people don't know that though. I think you know, I think you know. a lot of people have friends that know friends that, know friends that can tell you that. I'm just saying. Yeah, like there's this time that me and a couple of my friends were like, um, mm -hmm. when I was in Connecticut, like they, one of the guys was talking to his girlfriend, and he said that he was in New Haven when he was actually like two blocks away from her house, and so he had to turn off his Snap Map. So that she can track him. But like, oh, no. <laughs> I think a lot of people like know how to turn off your snap. Oh, but continue. I don't know what else to talk about. I just, I... yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing about social media that could be dangerous is um, people tend to idolize uh, what they see on social media and not know what's really going on, and they kind of compare themselves to what they see there. You see, so it, it could bring on insecurities and all that. Yeah. I mean, that right there, a lot of people... Oh, actually, I've actually also, had this I, I want to talk before. about something else. Actually, no, Judy, you finish. Like, I've had a discussion with my friend in school. You know, a lot of things that people see on social media, they relate to it, you know? And I agree with Travis. Yeah, you're not supposed to idolize it. You're supposed to know the truth. But the thing is, when you when certain people surround themselves with a community like that with for example a community that with a, a, actually a group of friends a group of people that push you into doing stuff that you know you're not supposed to do you know they're gonna eventually grasp onto it and they're gonna blend into it and then they're gonna adapt it to their lifestyle and then eventually their children and it's generation and generation so you have to remember that their community, you need to change the community before you change the person because when you change the person, you, you got to change, then you have to figure out how to change the community. But when you change the community, you change the person because that's when they're going to adapt to that new community if you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, Why do Amari and Judah have the same name? The thing that Judah and Travis are talking about, it also leads to something called insecurity. When, like, when, when friends push another friend to do something, it leads to that friend thinking that they have to do that or they're going to lose that their clout. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Or social status that they had at school. For example, TikTok. For example, like if, like, it's like at my school, it's like if you don't do a certain TikTok, you're not valid anymore. If you don't do something... Like, bro, if, you don't do a sort of TikTok? Huh? I don't use don't. TikTok. <laughs> Wait, if yeah, you, you haven't been TikTok in all your hit the wall. What you said? I said you haven't been Is that why you're not valid? I don't use TikTok, bro. That is a ghost voice, bro. <laughs> for girls. Yeah, I don't use TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is gay. Is TikTok, is, TikTok gay. is a waste of time. Uh, TikTok, I don't use TikTok. It's very dangerous. TikTok is fire. No, TikTok is dangerous, but it's fun. 
if you know how to use it properly. TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and Snapchat. They're all Sorry. Let's talk about Facebook for a second. Facebook are mainly used by people 35 to 65. Agree. Well, I guess I'm 35 to 65. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I still use Facebook. I don't really. Uh, to say. Yeah, I have Facebook. I just uh, use it often. I, yeah, I don't use it. I just had it. I just, I just have it. Look, my my brother Aaron loves TikTok. What? No, no, Aaron I don't. Loves TikTok. Yeah, yeah. No, Aaron loves TikTok. <laughs> No, I don't. Why yeah, you just said that? Volume. My mom loves TikTok. No, I know I don't. That's cap. That's, that's no cap. What do you guys think? Because uh-huh. <laughs> there was like a report. What are you teaching your brother? Day. There was a report in the news the other day saying that TikTok is actually like a Chinese company that like. Yeah, it is. That's the um, foreign service, like the Chinese version of the CIA. Is using the spy on like Americans. I heard about that. I don't even have it, so I don't really. You think it's a conspiracy? No wonder TikTok is so detailed. No, I want TikTok blew up right when COVID nineteen hit. COVID nineteen hit, and so everybody's inside, and then TikTok blew up. I think COVID nineteen launched TikTok so that they could spy on Americans. This is where you have to use your brain. Remember, musically wasn't so detailed before, and then they they started to make TikTok so they started to make it so detailed and turned into TikTok. Okay, look, before it was musically, yeah, but no, listen. musically was a different uh, app by a different company. Well, no, nah, oh. musically was doodle. <laughs> how is this? I want to know how does China develop such a great app? That it bypasses American security. The Chinese people. It are smart. hasn't. The United States military has actually banned every person in the military and all military families from using TikTok. So if your parents are in the military, if you're in the military, you're not allowed to use TikTok, or you could be arrested for treason. They they just banned it. Even like senators, congressmen, um, all those people in power. The president, his family, none of them can use okay. TikTok because it's well, a, let me ask you a, question. a security risk. TikTok is basically the biggest app, right? The biggest app right now. Not really. Not really. I think not it really. Is. It, is. It, it, is. it is. It is. It's very. Not, it's blowing up. It definitely is. What? It really is. Bro, Snapchat has five billion. What, what are you talking about? Five not billion really. downloads. Been around five billion. Exactly. So long. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to look it up. I'm about to look it up. No, no, no. I really no. don't think. Wait, wait, wait. I really don't, I don't think TikTok has over seven billion no, 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 people. No, 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 one person at a time. I really don't think TikTok has over five billion people on it. Wait. Amari, go first. You were speaking. Oh, it only has one billion. TikTok only has one billion. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, Snapchat, Snapchat has trash. one billion. Snapchat oh, has one billion. If we're all talking over each other, we can't hear each other's perspective. Amari, oh. you said it has one billion. Is that it? What does Snapchat have? One billion. One TikTok billion. has one billion. They're equal. Then... All right, yeah, so it's definitely not TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is, is used Snapchat. more regularly now than How do you know Snapchat. that? Did you look at their usage? And can, can I finish? Snapchat is an app that you send stories, you do streaks. That's, for the most part, all that you can do. Facebook is the TikTok, biggest app. You can message people. You can also do dances. That's probably the only reason... I would say that TikTok is more famous or Facebook more used TV. now because Facebook. TikTok How do you know has that all it's these activities that you can do. You can dance, you can cook. There's all these videos from people all over the world, just like Snapchat is all over the world, and you can use it um, and do all these different creative stuff that nobody knew that you could do, especially during quarantine where everybody's home. People have been tired of using Snapchat for years. TikTok is this new app that no one really knows about. Thank you. Everybody wants to be a TikTok influencer now. Look yeah, at Facebook Addison is Ray blew up in a couple months. Charlie D'Amelio, she lives in Norwalk, Connecticut. 
that's the town over from me. She literally used to come to high school parties at my school. And now she's like this big TikTok famous person across the world. Everyone yeah. wants to be famous. Addison Ray. Addison Ray. That's why I talk about that. <laughs> I have no idea who. Charlie? Charlie, Charlie the millionaire Addison, Addison Ray, one of the two biggest that? TikTokers of all time. Oh, you don't know who, who gives Addison their Ray? child that name? Who gives their child that name? That's not Addison is a literally Addison the worst name ever. It's a proper name. Wait, you don't know Little Hoodie? You don't know Little Hoodie? Is you he a rapper? What? He doesn't rap. Little is he a rapper? That, that is literally the worst name I know he's a TikToker, ever. but I'm asking <laughs> if he rap. Is his name Little Hoodie? What's his name? Oh, Brian Hall no. made a this about him, right? Little oh hoodie. God. That's, oh God! That's the worst name ever. That name is trash. I'm just being honest, man. Little, little hoodie. That's a bad name. I don't right? I mean, it's you have TikTok. If, if we're really being serious, though, everybody wants to be TikTok famous. I mean, that's a tr- that's not a, me. That, that's that's a not lot. true. That is not true. I I'm don't even pretty have pretty TikTok. Sure. TikTok. No, Diallo. I'm pretty sure if you download the app right now, and you find some funny people on there. You're gonna want to be just like them. Trust me. That's just boring. I don't want to look at people all day. I don't want to look at people all day. Hold up. All right, they're funny. That's one time. That's not gonna be every single time. You know Xavier Henry? No. Who's that? Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, he's irrelevant. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Okay. Do you know? Do you know the Vine? Um. Actually, no. TikTok basically it's just a platform. Do you know what the everybody... dollar menu is? Do you know what a dollar menu is? Yeah, I know what a dollar what? menu is. That's basically TikTok. <laughs> yeah, a dollar what? menu that everybody gets. So the dollar menu is TikTok. It's not a dollar menu, man. It kinda is though. I mean Snapchat is basically irrelevant. Like you Dude, said, should I get the Dark Vanguard? If you get it, no Fortnite. I'm not it, giving no. you. If you get it, I'm not gonna give it to you. Matter of fact, nah, I'm not. Matter of fact, nah, ain't nobody. Nah, you get that. You get that. Yeah, yeah, you get that. You get that. Matter of fact, you get that. No Fortnite talk right now. Yeah, Fortnite. Wait, you still play Fortnite on um, your highness? Your highness? No. Okay. Oh yeah, you play Warzone? Nope. Do you play COD? Wait, whose time is it to talk about? I think it's Judas or Gladys. I'm sorry, pardon? I think you're supposed to talk about a topic now. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, here's a topic that nobody really, like, focused on, okay? Is it is it really beneficial for is it really beneficial for a child to be homeschooled or to go to school online? Wait, to I have a big opinion. To go to school. To <laughs> no, no, no. Is it, is it is it beneficial for a child to be homeschooled by their parents or do online school? And one person first. I think it depends school. on your. I'd family. say homeschool. I'd say I think, homeschool. I think it depends if your parents are like teachers or whatnot. I think but like if you really think yeah. about it, if you like, but, I have Caribbean, I have Caribbean parents. Hey, wait, let me finish. You, let, you can be homeschooled. Can I finish? Yeah, you know, one person go first. Okay, one person at a time. But um, if your parents are like plumbers or like, I don't know, electricians, they may not be the best teachers, especially that they have work outside of you. If you're specifically um teaching your child, and the only job you have is to teach your child. That makes more sense. But when you do online school, you have teachers who are trained for hours and are constantly trained to be teachers. And as a result, they're able to have certified state teaching and teach you in the best way possible. Now, no one likes online school. Okay, maybe some people like online school, but a majority of people don't like online school. The question isn't whether or not people like online school, it's whether or not it's important and whether or not the teaching that you're receiving is better. 
So I think personally, but, online school teaching would probably be better than home school teaching. Only okay. me, but it depends on which one was. I'm, I'm, I'm me. On the situation. Yes. Which one was better? Not which one had the best education. Like, no, no, no. I, no, I like, asked which one is more beneficial, online or homeschool. If you were getting homeschool, you would get teach the street smarts because parents like in the home. Unless you're homeless, I don't think that's how it works. I'm not talking about like 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 for quarantine. I'm talking about before oh, quarantine. Funniest thing I've ever done, bro. Oh wow. But like in general, I would pick it's online smart. school because teachers have more experience. Exactly. Yeah, they have more experience and they know what they're talking about. Socializing. Yeah, but you can literally just be homeschooled by a tutor. I keep on saying that. Yeah. Which so one is more beneficial? Some people come from their house. You really think a tutor is going to come from their house while the coronavirus is going on? Every single day. For how many you hours? Never said hours it to be your house. A pandemic. He asked which one was more beneficial. That was online. Wait, 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 wait. During the pandemic. You have an Dude. online tutor. Wait, no. <laughs> you, that doesn't help my argument. Yeah, exactly. You're okay, yeah, online school is better, man. Online school is better. Online school is better. Wait, if I could respond to Diala, I think you're basically saying the same thing. Online school with a tutor is just you being at home, and then a tutor comes That's from... That's not what I said. Home. Okay. Someone else you... said an online tutor. I said an in-person no, tutor. Nobody that's said that. That's what I'm saying. saying. No, 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 that's no, no, what I'm no, saying. That. You're basically saying the same thing. You're at your home and someone comes from their home to, te- to tutor you. It's easier for that person to come to do it but online. No one They're asked. not going to force themselves to no come in person to your house, especially if the tutor has the same amount of training as a state certified teacher. I really don't think you're understanding the question. He asked which one is more beneficial, not which one is more convenient. And I'm saying, if a tutor and a teacher have the same amount of training, it's more beneficial for the teacher or the tutor to do online class than do um, in person because then they have to plan for how many hours they're going to be there. They have to plan for what mode of transportation they're going to take to get there. They're going to trans- uh, think about how long it's going to take to teach you. So if they come in person, you take an hour to get to you, and then you have maybe four hours of school, and then another hour or an hour and a half in traffic to get them back, when instead you can have that full six and a half hours of learning just online. It's basically the same thing. Number one. In person teaching, aka teaching with the teacher, with the tutor, it's more in depth. It's better than having online things to read. It's better to have the actual tangible book. And you number two, you can put the actual tangible. Hold on, you can, can, the put, put, the, you can book. put the book online from the exact book. You, you can, can order, know, but I'm saying it's better book. to have the tangible version. You can't have the tangible version. Only all right, all right. That's number one. That's number one. And number two. You how are you would review? Wait, can, can I finish? Be the can I finish? Ordering the book, though. Wait, let me finish. How are you sure there's specific circumstances? Because some yeah, one person in my class could not obtain That's any materials true. whatsoever because of the situation that he was in. And he failed all of his classes because he could he not, not get those materials. He couldn't get it from the school. He couldn't get it from anywhere. He couldn't attend any classes. But I thought so that's you said I'm that we're that not talking about quarantine. He never a specified that it was during quarantine, quarantine, that student would be able to go out and get whatever resources they need. They don't have to get the resources. I'm, exactly. Go, go out and go to the library or something. That still I'm means about, you can do I'm talking online about school online at the school. library. Yeah, but you have to travel all the way to the library and get on and do whatever. And then that would be the same the... amount of travel that the tutor would have to do to come to you. And exactly. You still, and you would still need to go out to get the resources that you need, which is even double the trip. That is not necessarily true. I think we should move on. Johannes is yeah, technically right. 
Wait, yo, question. what's the question? Wasn't the question of which is I better, public care, school or home school? Wait, which I is more beneficial? Uh huh. Wait, did you say what you think is more beneficial, Trevor? No, I was asking like, was the question which is more beneficial, public school or or home school? No, on on school, school or on school, uh, or home school. Oh, oh um. Uh, damn, I don't really even. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Some people aren't social, and some people yeah. can work better online, but some other people can't do that. Some people need to be around people or something like that okay. to learn better. So I can't really take the side. Yeah. Any other topics? I think it's Diallo's turn. Oh, Diallo hopped off, I think. He hopped off. No, he's back. Um... Diallo. Diallo, it's your turn. Well, it's your turn to speak what, on the topic that you would like to select and us to discuss. I would not like to select the topic. Uh, so you want to skip or forfeit your turn? Well, I, I think everyone should go. Just to you put think. your stuff out, out there and put whatever ideas. So... What are All right, then my topic will be about how I don't have any ideas. Look, just okay. pick anything. Just pick anything. Anything? Well, I don't know what to pick. It's going to be boring. We can talk about the think. Avengers, even. Pick something, uh -huh. man. Okay, wait. I had this debate today, right? Okay. I, had a, I was watching a video. And I was talking about the worst super superheroes. It had Green uh -huh. Lantern. That's valid. He doesn't better not say Superman. Huh? Yeah. Better not say Superman. Not say Superman. Superman is valid. Valid. <laughs> it said hmm. um Robin, which I get. It said Captain America. And what was the thing? Okay, I'm, what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find that. I'm, I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna find the dude that said that. And then the person said that Iron Man and Batman are the best superheroes. I okay. First, Batman sucks. Just let me say that. Um, They're literally billionaire spoiled brats. Batman lost his dad, and he's Iron been, Man is Iron, Iron Man, Man is dad and his mom. I think Iron, Iron Man, Man is mom. fire, but he's not the best superhero. I mean, Iron Man and Thor are the best. Thor. Thor. No. Thor. Yes, Thor. And Shazam. Like, I don't think are basically the best. I don't think Shazam, he should classify uh, as a superhero. Just only I'm because. Sorry, Superheroes are human. Well, what? That's not true. <laughs> Superman is an alien. Are okay. human. Where did you read that? Superman is an alien. But I'm okay. They're not human, but I would only disqualify Thor because he's a god. Uh, and yeah. even aliens, god. like they report to some type of god. Like what's his name? Superman he reported to the sun god. What's his name? Rao. Or something like that. I don't know. But I know he doesn't like, suck. Superman had a god. I think that like Thor should be disqualified because he isn't on their level. He's on a higher level. He destroyed I mean, he's both. fat now. And so. Iron Man. Iron he, Man. He the Iron Man is good. He's just not the best. Yes, yeah, he's, he's good. Sacrificed his life. He's not the leader of the game. Avengers, dude. To save all of the Avengers. Captain America's elite. That's not really true. That don't mean he's the best. He, it doesn't no, mean you don't have to be the best to be the leader. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Everybody just talks about Scarlet Widow. I mean, she's good. She beat Iron Man. Yeah. She she definitely would not. Scarlet be. Widow. <laughs> Scarlet Widow is, is cool, dude. She's like, <laughs> <That's the best. laughs> Black Widow, nuts. <laughs> oh, Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> I think that <laughs> I think that you can classify a superhero in different ways because like when we normally say that like the best superhero some people are talking about like powers some people are talking about like personality and some yeah. people are talking about like backstory so like some people say that Black Panther is like a good superhero because of his power <laughs> better than Iron Man <laughs> a bad superhero what? because of his backstory all right they're tied they're tied I would say Black Panther and Iron Man are tied. No. No. He would beat up Iron Man. He's tied with Captain America. Because they have the same skill level. Imagine if Iron Man obtained vibranium. He would destroy 
Black Panther. No, if he obtained vibranium, he would die. Because remember, he's a robot <laughs> and a human at the same time. You can't handle that type of power. First, his, um, imp- what do you call it? His chest, uh, his heart or something, it will oh, collapse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, his repulsor will collapse. And then his body will start to deteriorate that, that like it did in Endgame. So, Yo, aren't you given the Black Panther power though? Like, aren't you Yeah, given- you have to drink like the purple thing. Yeah. So- he is given power, you know, yeah, definitely. So anybody can be a Black Panther if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But Iron Man can't be him because remember he's a half robot, half human, like cyber. What if he drinks the thing? Like what was what was then? Like his yeah, ability is gonna be enhanced. Like he he's gonna be still fighting. Yeah. Like, he can drink it, but not like he can't like just he's put a, it in his chest. He's just like, gonna deteriorate. Like the history of Wakanda, you can only like drink it if you're part of like the royal bloodline. So I don't I think they would like have oh, yeah. to guard it. They would make sure that like nobody could get to it unless like you're a royal. Yeah. I was thinking to ask like somebody this question and I like forgot it for a while. What do you guys think about the end of Black Panther when like they let the world know they were like a country and that they had like vibranium and they kinda opened bad it up? Bad idea. Bad idea. It was, I mean, it's kind of a bad idea. This you got people that love power and now that yeah. they know something's there, they're going to want it. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, <laughs> you got vibranium? <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Amari? I think Amari's gone. Midas? No, okay. he's there. Do we think Batman is a good superhero? He's Batman, good. He's not that he's good. Decent. He's decent. He's not good. He's not bad. He's all right. Like, to be honest, was, yeah, he's all, all right. the DC yeah, universe right. is horrible. Like the only yeah, thing that almost makes Batman, all the DC movies are garbage except for like exactly. three Aquaman. hours. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like how they remade the Flash is thing. Trash. Batman I don't is like how they did three hours, Flash. but three hours of just straight the same line repeating is not cool. Like exactly. Endgame was three hours, but it was cooler. But Batman vs Superman three hours. Oh. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, you think you can beat me, dude? Like, come on. Here's what I think. That's much. what I thought. I was kind of wondering what I thought about it. Because, like, I, I've never seen the movie, like, Batman versus Superman. But, like, was- it, Batman won, right? Yeah. Because of Kryptonite. Because of Kryptonite, exactly. I think that Batman would not be himself if it weren't for um, Alfred and if it weren't for um, Captain Gordon. I don't think Batman would even be able to beat. Well, he can't be Superman without Crypto. Exactly. So I think they had to put the Spider-Man Superman in there. Just so. to, he, they just had to put it in there. Yeah. I think they just did that for, like, to kind of drum up even more attention, I guess. Because yeah, I think it is obvious that he would lose. All the powers that, like, Superman has, I think he would definitely beat Batman. What about Superman versus Spider-Man? Superman would kill him. <laughs> Spider-Man would win somehow, Spider-Man just, somehow. I don't see how Plot Spider-Man armor. Plot Plot armor. Armor. Like, and he has webs. Remember, Spider-Man That's has it. different forms. You have Galactic Spider-Man, you have Miles Morales, you have Spider-Man 2099, you have a lot of Spider-Man, so it, does, it doesn't have to be Superman. What so. if all the Spider-Mans from all the universes teamed up on um, Superman? I think they would, do that. They, would, they would They would make him dust. They would <laughs> I don't know. They would abolish him. You ever heard of Superman uh, 1 million when he spent some time in the sun? Oh, yeah. Superman, Superman has a sun. When he spent yeah, time he in, the sun, look, um, in the sun. Yeah, oh, in the sun. In the sun. Yeah, when he's in the sun. I think that's he's when he's really he unstoppable when really he does that. So I don't see how you yeah, stop him. Re- like they should fight him at night, not, not, not in the day. Yeah, that's true. Same. Fight him at night or put him in a box. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another topic, a very, very important topic that I've been fighting people over for the past week. Georgia, Texas, and Florida have been partying all week and racking up COVID cases. I think that we should kick Georgia, Florida, and Texas out of the United States. They should just be their what? own country. <laughs> that, that literally their want to make country this. with their you own want to make COVID this the 19th century again. You want to make this 18 to 1800. 
I think it's that not. we should annex those three states. If 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 Trump makes it happen, then you know it, it could happen. Trump is it's definitely not going to annex Florida because he has a lot of property. Yeah. Unless he wants, he to might he might like, do that to Texas. It's a territory and make it. Claim Texas that is already a part of the U.S. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, if you think about it, it took, it took a while for um, America to become America. So, I mean, you, you could kick oh, Texas yeah. again, you know, put them in timeout. <laughs> yeah, put them in timeout. <laughs> well, yeah, it took a while for um, America to be America and then even longer for America to really, like, fully accept Texas. Yeah. As a state. So, because um, they were fighting Mexico over... Um, property over Texas and yeah. whether Texas should be part of the United States or Mexico. And this Mexico lost. When you think of Mexico, it's kind of weird to think of Mexico, I guess. I mean, Mexico is a beautiful place, man. Yeah, but you don't really think of it like as a country that would be able to like hold its own against America. I mean, yeah, you don't. To be honest, when I was growing up, I didn't know Texas was in the U.S. I thought Texas was actually next to Africa when I was growing up. What? Not Texas, <laughs> Mexico. Oh, no, Mexico? really. Oh, my God. Uh, Texas is like the biggest um, continent in the United States of um, Wait, what? Of states. <laughs> what do we feel about Canada? I love, I love Canadians. I just, Canadians. I love Canadians. I, I, I love Canadians. North America is so weird because it's like the United States and then Canada above, Mexico below, and that's it. Yeah. Like all the other, all the other continents have like, like two hundred countries, and we have like two or three countries. Just Mexico weird. equals awesome. Oh, by the way, did you know that NASA <clears throat> is paying thirty-five thousand dollars to anyone who can design? A toilet that works on the moon. I think that would be weird to do. Like, how would you set up like the um, atmosphere to you put it in vacuum? You put, put it, it in, in space. Yeah. Or space send it, it to a rock. It falls on Earth. You do whatever in like a plastic bag, and then you have like a chamber, and you open the chamber, and when you go in, there's like another chamber, and then you go through that chamber, and then you throw it through the chamber and then it just floats away but it shoots you should shoot so like the chamber shoots it towards the sun and it just melts that won't work oh. it'll stop because Look. of the fact Here's that the there's no gravity the sun is not as close as it seems I yeah maybe you heard that before but the sun is so far away it is that you, if you, you look at the scale Earth that doesn't have enough material. The amount of materials Earth has is not enough to reach near halfway the sun. The sun is very, very far away. Hmm. So what are we talking about? I this. think it's closer so, than a lot of people say. It's definitely far, but I think it's a no, lot no, no. a lot of people say. <clears throat> every Travis single diagram that you've out. looked at, every single diagram that you see, it's not at actual scale. Like it might say that it's um one tenth of a scale, but that is not true. If you look, if you look at the actual scale, it looks so far away from sure. just the I moon think, alone. Yeah, not even the looks. Wait, I have a question. The sun. I have a question. Yeah. Do you guys believe in alternate universe? And if so, why? Definitely. Alternate universes? Yeah, yep. yeah that there are like... Alternate universes or multi-universes? Al multi -universe. Alternate universe, like Multiple, Where you like, have like Earth, but then you have Earth, then Earth. Oh, kind of like Stranger Things. Yeah. I honestly, I don't really, I don't believe in that because um, it was never mentioned in the Bible or anything, so I don't really see like. That is true. That is maybe true. God didn't. Well, want what about other galaxies? You know, or, we never visit that. But remember, I mean, like, the only two things I know about is Earth and Heaven and Hell. Like, I think those are the only things that exist. I don't really believe in like other universes like Earth 2 and Earth this and that. No, no. Yeah. We have <laughs> there are a bunch of books <laughs> that were in the Bible, like books that God told people to write that aren't in the Bible that we have today. Like, so imagine like everything that could be in those books. We don't I know mean, there, there's definitely people that believe, you know, the Bible 
was written in some other universe. You, you can ask a lot of people, not only in America, but all over the world, they believe certain parts of the Bible wasn't meant to be in the Bible. Like, if you ask somebody, oh, you think the Bible's written here? They're like, no. And then it'll tell you about the book of Enoch. Where did that go? Yeah, exactly. So like, uh, they're gonna def- they're gonna defend their answer with Enoch. Like, the book of Enoch. It's like um, it talks about how uh, how fallen angels came down and had babies with women, human women, and they created they created giants. Yeah. Right? And giants walked the earth, and all this and that, and the NBA. Yeah, and the, and that was taken out. I don't really like. I don't know why they took it out, but that part was just taken out. And there was some other stuff. And about that the makes book of me think, like, what else could be hidden? I think like all of the other books are probably like somewhere in the Vatican. And they're. I like, mean, you could be right. There could be a lot of stuff that's hidden. But when it comes to like different universes, like yeah. God is like controlling like the Earth, and then He has to control another universe because He's in control of everything. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely like, for me, a lot, a lot of people ask like, when, when Adam and Eve, you know, disobeyed God, and then they had children. I think Cain and Abel, right? Cain yeah. and Abel. Yeah, I think, I think so. Cain and Abel. And the main question a lot of people ask is basically, how did Abel marry somebody when Adam and Eve only had two children? Yeah, I had that That's question like, for a long time. I don't even yeah. know the answer to that. How do you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have a question about that. Like, how did the population get again? bigger? Like, so, how did Abel marry somebody when they only had four people on the earth? Well, three now because Abel murdered Cain, I think. So, you had Adam, Eve, yeah. Abel, and Cain. So, how did Abel marry yeah. somebody? Yeah, how did the population grow? And, yeah. like, like he, everybody was that? related at the time. Maybe he married his mother. I mean, I, that's kind of <laughs> weird, bro. That's kind of weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's weird to say, but I know. I do, it's a possibility. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. God just created America. another person and then, like, was too bored to write write it in the Bible. Like, he just created a bunch more people. And then he was like, you know what? We don't need to know all this. Honestly, I don't even know how that would work because when he created Adam and Eve, I'm like, okay. He says, like, be fruitful and multiply. And yeah. then they had kids. And then everybody was related. Those four people were related. So how did the population grow some more? That's that means we're all related. We're all related, guys. You guys are, like, my very, very distant. Are you people. hearing me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that one-third of Americans believe that let me, let me chime have in here. Earth, and one half of the world believes Take that off. aliens are real? Uh, okay. Huh. Are, are you hearing me, gentlemen? Yes, yes, Apostle. All right. Let me chime in here because um, our time is just about out. I want to thank you all for um, spending the time this evening again. And uh, once again, I, 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 I say to you, to you young men, that I'm really proud of you. And, and you know, you, you just give such hope. You just give me such hope for the future, and and I'm I'm really really so proud of you. Um, I don't I don't really want to single out anyone as such, but I I still gotta say this that um. There is there's a project I'm working on right now. And believe it or not, something that Judah said just gave me the greatest, the greatest um injection of of hope right now, and encouragement. Um, Judah said earlier on, uh, so Judah, if you can rem- if, Judah, if you can remember what you said and say it again, but it was a comment, a statement you made about America. You said basically, um, what was America before America, or who thought of who thought up of something that? Mm-hmm. Um, can you say? Can you say? Do you remember what you said? But it, it was a very very interesting statement. It was basically that, saying, I was saying like. Before, Amer- it, it took a took long a time for America to become America. Yeah. That's it. That's it right there. That's it right there. It took a while for America to become America. Um, and, and in the context of what you were saying, um, I mean, it, give, it, it really just jumped out at me, that statement, because even right now, as we are in the early formation of this organization, the Christian Youth Regiment, and you fellas are tra- being trained as the leaders, 
um, that statement right there actually applies to us right now. That um, the CYR is in its inception, and can you imagine what this organization would be like um, when your children come along and they are now they are members of the CYR? Uh, can you imagine, or even if you think for, further to say your grandchildren, can you imagine what that would be like? Um, that you would say, man, I was there at the inception of the CYR, and here I am now as part of this global organization that is impacting young people. That's what is really, really powerful. So I want to thank you all. Um, I, I believe that probably I might have to come back at some point to pick up some of these conversations that you are having because you are having some really, really important conversations right now about... Um, uh, um, theological stuff. And, and let me tell you, gentlemen, let me tell you something. You are actually having the kind of conversation right now that adults are having at seminary and university um, in, in theology and philosophy and that sort of thing. That's the level of conversation you're having right now. Where did um, Abel, where did Cain find his, his, his wife? Um, uh, or what of the book of Enoch? Why was it taken out of the Bible? Um, the giants, this, the, the in, fallen angels coming and have, having intimacy or relationship with women and creating giants. I mean, this, this, this is real heavy stuff you fellas discuss it. Now, sometime later on, you're, as we go along and as we have, have some of these discussions, and as we look at where the world is heading, you are going to be amazed, and, and I, would, I would probably even get say delighted to find out that these are the kind of conversations that would become more relevant as we go along because um as we go along people are going to be revisiting these questions and looking for answers and the answers are going to help us to figure out some the codes about the end times in other words as we answer these questions we're going to actually get answers as to where the world is going what kind of timeline um, we have before the world as we know it ends and what happens after this world as we know it. So these are really big questions you, you fellas are raising. And, um, I, and, and as we close, I want to really um, encourage you to keep thinking along that line. Now, you see how that, that discussion we had on critical thinking, you see how it comes in really handy now? Um, as I listen to you all discussing, I could hear evidence of the critical thinking coming through. And I'm really, really, really happy about that. Um, also, I want to commend you for the maturity with which you have, um, you engage the, the discussion. Amari, thank you for the, for, for, um, the suggestion about the topics. And um, I, I would have, I didn't have this in mind, but I got on, I got on late. And um, you are already well into the discussion, and I see how it flowed. It really flowed smoothly and nicely, and, and was very interesting. Just to have so many topics in one conversation was really interesting. So it was a, a pretty an idea that worked out pretty good after all. So thank you all again, and, and God bless you all. And thank you, Hannes, um, for uh, always you know stepping up to make sure everything is is kept um, in a certain direction and order. It was the joint effort with Travis today. I was about to say, I hear Travis's leadership coming forth. I hear, I hear, his lead, I hear him stepping up, and the leadership is coming forth from Travis. Um, and I, I smiled when I saw that, when I got on and I saw that. So I really want to commend, um, commend you gentlemen, all of you gentlemen, um, your own voice. I want to commend you for a great job this evening. Mm, thank you. And, um, I really want to recognize the, the leadership of, of these um, two older older boys, um, older young men, uh, Travis and Amari, Travis and um, uh, uh, Johannes, for, for doing that, all right? Um, so it's time to close. Uh, we didn't do, I think we skipped a couple of days this week. So let me just, let, let's just do this very quickly. Um, Envoys, what are the tenets of the CYR, the Christian Youth Regiment? What are the tenets? One. I'm a nurturer, my sweater, my body. I'm a nurturer, my sweater. I must never miss it. I must always represent the Christian regiment. 
I'm a man. Who's always representing the CYR as a model? You. Three. I'm a son of my parents. Four. 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 I'm a Discipleship and three service. Thank you. Good. So faith in in God and 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 the um, devotion to Christ. Um, discipleship in a, in 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 a, um, spirituality in spiritual matters and in academic matters and uh, service to to God and Oral. Yeah, devotion Oral. and to humans in in mission. Very good. All right. Um, and Hard then, Amar, mute yourself. So, I want to thank you. All. And uh, let's let's do the closing prayer um, of the CYR closing prayer. Two, three. God, I have a heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We thank, we you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Liberty and loyalty. The life of the Christian is spreading with the spirit of power, love, and the sound. Give us a an obedient heart that we may serve you and serve others as if we're serving you. Show us your way and help us to walk in Protect us by your mighty power. Let your glory Thank you very much, gentlemen. God bless you. Have a good evening. See you, I are ambassadors. See you, I are ambassadors. of the risen Lord. Our voice of the risen Lord. We're building young lives for Christ. We're building young lives for Christ. Strong, talented, graceful, young. Strong, strong, talented, graceful, young. Our motto, our motto, love and a strong mind. Power, love and a strong mind. Christian, Christian, Jewish, regiment, war. Very good. Love you, fellas. Take care. God bless you all. Have a good evening.